Hi, we're Group B6, and we'll be teaching you about predicates, quantifiers, and translating to English today. Our group uh, is composed of Jacqueline Miller, Michael Manzano, Guy Lynn, and Sean Dalesman. I'm Sean Dalesman. And I'm Guy Lynn. Um, and let's get started. First, we'll be covering predicates. So, the statement, y is less than 1, has two parts to it. The first part is that the variable y is the subject of the statement. The second part is the predicate, and that refers to the property that the variable y can have. So that means that less than 1 is the predicate of the statement y is less than 1. We can write y is less than 1 as p of y, where p is the predicate, and let, where p is the predicate less than 1, and y is the variable. Universal quantification can be expressed by this symbol. And, uh, and in the English language, this symbol is read as p of x is true for every x in the domain. And a universal quantification is only false if there is an x for which p of x is false, meaning that you only have to have one exception and the universal quantification is false. Existential quantification is expressed by this symbol. In the English language, existential quantification can be is read as there exists x such that p of x is true in the domain. Again, that domain must be specified. In regards to existential quantification, it can only be false if p of x is false for every single x in the domain. Okay. So now let's go over a few examples of how to translate um, specifications into English with predicates. So here we have an example with four specifications. F of P, printer P is out of service. B of P, printer P is busy. L of J, print job J is lost. Q of J, print job J is Q. So, Let's go over part A. This reads, there exists P, F of P, and B of P, which implies there exists J, L of J. So here we have F of P and B of P, which is a conjunction, and this can be translated as printer P is out of service, and, and printer P is busy. L of J can be translated as, there exists J, such that some job is lost. So, the entire answer to the translation is, if there exists a printer that is both lost and busy, both out of service and busy, sorry, then some J job is lost. Okay. So here we have another example. There exist for all P, B of P implies there exists some J, Q of J. So here we have B of P, printer P is busy, and this is a predicate, and Q of J, print job J is Q, is the conclusion of the implication. So using our quantifiers, the predicate and the conclusion, and the conditional statement, we can translate this as... If every printer is busy, then there is a Q job. So here we have one that's similar to part A. There exists some J such that Q of J and L of J implies there exists some P, F of P. So here we have another conjunction where there's a queued job and it's lost. And there's also, there exists some printer that is out of service. So we can translate this as, if there exists a job that is both queued and lost, then there exists some printer that is out of service. And here, 
we have the final part. For all p, b of p, and for all j, q of j, which implies there exists some j such that l of j. So here we have the first quantifier applies to only this premise, b of p. And the second quantifier applies to the second premise, q of j. Combining both premises with the conjunction, we get the predicate for the conditional statement and the conclusion. So, for all p, if every printer is busy and if every job is queued, then there is some job that is lost.